Meanwhile, another story we're following tonight. Two high school seniors arrested on arson charges on the eve of their graduation. One walked out in front of our KCRA 3 cameras. The seniors are accused of setting fire to the very stage they were supposed to walk across to get their diplomas. It took police less than 12 hours to figure out who was behind the case, and now other seniors and their families are wondering why. KCRA 3's Kevin Oliver, live for us at Roseville High School right now. Kevin, it looks like graduation will still go on tomorrow as planned, right? That's right. They've brought in a new stage this afternoon and put down some new green astroturf. You can barely see where the area is on the field that was burned. It's been essentially covered up. The last day of school, though, was filled with drama, including the fire, lots of rumors, and ultimately two arrests. Just as school was letting out for the summer, two seniors left Roseville High School in the back of police squad cars. Police have identified one of the students as 18 year old Roy Jordan Loya. The other, a 17 year old senior, police have not identified because he's considered a juvenile. It was honestly a really big shock to us. Uh, we're seeing a, a burned stage, apparently. Uh, the pair is accused of setting fire to a stage set up for graduation on the school football field. Police say a security guard noticed smoke coming from the field just before 1.30 in the morning and called 911. By sunrise, you could see the giant burn mark around the 50-yard line in front of rows of chairs. Just did it probably as a senior prank of their own. I heard they were troublemakers, too. I think this is way above a prank. Obviously, it's a, it's, it's a felony crime. The fire damaged a large section of the expensive synthetic turf that was refurbished last summer. By this afternoon, crews had covered the burned areas and started setting up a new stage. This incident is not going to deter us, and we are going to have a spectacular graduation. The high school is still going forward with plans to hold the graduation in the same location Friday evening. While the school was planning on originally hosting 465 graduates here, two members of this class will not attend. Now, after word got out about this fire this morning, the school said it got donations and support from local businesses, other schools, and community groups to make sure that this graduation ceremony happens here tomorrow. Over the long term, though, they do plan to repair the synthetic turf that's underneath that new stage sometime over this summer. Reporting live from Roseville, Kevin Oliver, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, and that is going to cost a lot of money to do that. Kevin, thanks so much.